This episode is brought to you by Julio's Woodshop, creators of fine gaming furniture. Julio, it looks like a table. You have been really busy. Yes. Uh, well, I, I took some boards, I planed them down, jointed them, flattened them, and um, I uh, made the ledge. I also mitered the corners, dominoed them to keep things flat and sized it, so we're almost ready to go. It's coming together uh, nicely. It looks really nice, I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> me too. So just a couple things. Um, uh, you se selected uh, vintage burgundy as, a, as your I color. I love it. So it's I made a so sample. Pretty. And you selected a tan uh, fabric for your tabletop. So they go, they go together really well. Nice contrast. Yeah. Look so. at how nice you see the wood grain there. That's so pretty. You can already see how that's going to yep. shake as out I'm here. Finish shaping this out and sanding it down. Uh, I'll be able to get it finished and get it to you right away. Yay. But awesome. We, we do have a couple things uh, that we're going to work on today. Uh, we're going to actually put the uh, uh, surface, uh, the uh, I'm sorry, the fabric uh, together along with the uh, substrate underneath. And uh, we're going to put a um, just a skin on the outside to cover up... Uh, um, the blocks uh, and hide them away just to give it more of a finished look on the table. Let's pretty it up a little bit. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to spray the edge, just about this wide. We're going to spray this corner here. Same thing on the ends. Okay. Then, with your help, we're going to fold this over as tight as we can. Okay. And bring the pieces in. I think we're ready. Okay. So, pause there. And what you can do is pull and correct. Yep. There you go. Pull and flatten. Pull and flatten. We're going to start on the other side the to try and pull thing. it tight. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it again. Okay. So we're going to try to do pull it tight in the center. And there you go. Work our way. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now I now I see why you were saying that this. Uh, is a, essentially a two-person job. Kind yes, of to <laughs> it helps to have a second person. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. Of course, I'll vacuum this up, <laughs> clean it up so it looks a little bit nicer than this, but at least it's, it's flat. And let's see if it fits. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Yep. Perfect. Nice and tight. All right. Good stuff. Yep. Now we'll uh, we'll work on the skin, and uh, we'll get that going. And uh, we've talked about this before that the nice thing with having the top uh, of your table like this is that something happens to it. We need to do repair work, or if we need to do another color or something like that, you have the flexibility without having to dismantle your whole table. Correct. To get that done. Yeah, actually, um, there is a there are a couple of holes drilled on the sides there that are the size of a pencil, so that in case we do have to remove it, you can just push it up. Awesome. And take it out. 
Very cool. Yeah. A couple of nice things about this. Uh, some people may have some trouble finding the fabric. Um, currently I'm using what's called speed cloth. It's uh, resistant to uh, liquids. It's not, uh, I'm sorry, it's repellent to liquids. It's not completely resistant. And the foam uh, base underneath is uh, mold resistant. So if something does spill and sits there for a while, it won't get uh, funky. <laughs> if you're anything like us, you're never gonna let anybody put any glasses down on your table. <laughs> so, but in case. But just in case. Yeah, yeah the, the foam texture does give you uh, the ability to uh, pick up uh, playing cards and um, it lessens the noise when you're rolling dice. So what's our next step? Well, now we're gonna uh, skin off the, the edges here. Uh, we're gonna take a uh, piece of quarter inch uh, oak plywood and we're going to, I've already uh, sized it to width. Now we're going to measure and uh, cut it to length and install it uh, onto the sides. Okay, and then we'll bring over the edge, the ledge, <laughs> say, edge. And right about there, I guess. So we're gonna take these two sample pieces, this cove molding here. It's got a nice profile. I'm gonna edge it here, just to give it a nice finished look. And then um, we'll edge the bottom here. And we'll finish, of course, the corners. And that'll wrap it up. It's after, that, it's just, awesome. after that, it's just uh, <clears throat> um, routing the ends here to round, to round this over, uh, route the edge here so that um, it's not sharp and give it a nice profile. Uh, and then it's just staining and finishing uh, and it should be ready to play. I have Julio back in studio and we have a table and it looks amazing. Thank you, thank you. Well, I, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some games being played on Oh my it. gosh, I can't wait, I can't wait. And actually we're gonna christen the table and you guys gonna get to play a game with us too. So that's very gonna be excited. very awesome, stay tuned for that. So what have you been up to since we left you last in the studio? You've well, like really <laughs> just done a number here. Uh, I've added a few details um, just to finish it out and I stained it uh, to the color that you liked and uh, looks gorgeous. And if you remember we, we uh, together we, we, we put the top together uh, and basically it was just finishing and drying time that took the longest so once all that's complete, this thing's uh, ready for some play. Looks amazing. And we finally have a table that will fit all of the pieces <laughs> and we can roll dice and not yes. have things fall on the floor and it's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So good. So anybody that is interested in getting a table for themselves, uh, you know, Julio is the guy that you need to call for sure. And we have a special offer for backstagers. So Julio is gonna offer a 5% discount on tables. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, make sure that, um, you check us out on that and you send a message to Julio and let him know that you are backstage or on the site and he'll double check that with us and you will be good to go. Yeah, there'll be plans uh, to make your own if you want mm -hmm. online. Uh, for this, uh, this table, uh, the inside diameter is 38 inches deep, uh, 50 inches wide. Uh, that should accommodate most board games, uh, maybe even some small miniature games. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're uh, a larger miniature game player, uh, there's a uh, table uh, that will be available as well that's uh, four foot deep and seven foot wide. Wow. And uh, like I said, if, if you want to purchase the, the uh, plans online, you can, or just contact me through the website and uh, we'll talk about it. Tell everybody where your website is again. It's uh, www.juliowoodshop.com. Very good. And I think that is just the nicest thing that you're doing too, because of course, not everybody lives in the United States. And so if you want to get a table and have something like this by you, the fact that you're going to have plans out there is pretty amazing as well. Well, what's great is uh, if you can't do it yourself and you really enjoy or you really like uh, this particular design, um, find a local craftsman and support him. Uh, I'm sure they'll they'll price it out reasonably. All, it, all they'll be doing is uh, following the plans that 
I faced, they might even change something to your liking or customize it to uh, what you're looking for. Very good. Well, I can't wait to take the table out for a spin here. Thank you so much, Julio. We are looking forward to filming lots of amazing games on this beautiful table. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.